Hello students, we are going to start a very important chapter of class 12 known as accounting for partnership firms and the first part of partnership is fundamentals. We will be discussing about how profits are distributed amongst the partners and how capital accounts of partners are prepared. There are different ways of preparing capital accounts. And this chapter will be discussed in a couple of lectures. In lecture one, I'll be covering the following topics. Meaning of partnership. What is partnership deed and its contents? Rules applicable if the partners don't have a partnership deed. Profit and loss appropriation account, its meaning and how it is prepared. There is a very thin difference between the term appropriation and charge and profits. I will be discussing on this. Let us understand, it is a continuation of class 11, a partnership is an agreement between partners to run a business of profit. There should be minimum two partners and maximum can go up to 50. The business should be a legal business and normally they run business of profit and of course if there is a loss they will share the loss. Partnership deed. A partnership deed, a written agreement between partners which is duly stamped and registered. Now why partnership deed is made? Uh, this is to avoid any dispute between partners at a later stage. Whatever the partners agree to, it is mentioned in the partnership deed. It's a kind of legal document. Once it is stamped and registered, it becomes a legal document. And it contains name of the firm and partners, nature of business, place of business, profit sharing ratio, and interest on capital, interest on drawings, salary allowed to partners and certain other rules like what should we do, partners do if a new partner is admitted and if a partner retires and if the partnership is dissolved etc. Now if the partners do not have a partnership deed, which rules are applicable? As per Partnership Act 1932, the following rules will be applicable. Profits are to be divided equally. Whatever the partners may say, if the dispute arises, the court will say, it should be divided equally. No partner can claim interest on capital and at the same time no interest is to be charged on drawings. No partner can claim any salary or commission. Even if he is working hard or he was looking after a particular department in case there is no partnership deed, no salary or no commission can be claimed. This is very important. In case a partner gives loan to the firm. Now what is the difference between capital and loan? Capital is the investment of a partner in the business. Whereas loan is an extra amount lent by a partner to the firm. 
and if a partner has given loan to the firm he is entitled to this is his right he is entitled to interest at the rate 6% per annum per annum means if a partner has given loan let's say on 1st of october and accounts are closed on 31st march next year then he will be entitled to interest for 6 months and if a partner gives loan at the beginning of the year he will be getting interest for full year this per annum means time factor according to time 6 months if he has given 6 months ago 9 months if he is given 9 months ago 10 months if he is given 10 months ago and if no time is mentioned interest will be allowed for full year when we talk about profit and loss appropriation account this account is an extension of profit and loss account and is prepared to show distribution of profit as per the terms of partnership deed the format of profit and loss appropriation account credit side and debit side on the credit side the net profit as calculated in profit and loss account is brought down in this account we write net profit brought down now as per the partnership deed if interest on capital is to be allowed it is known as appropriation appropriation means what the partners get will come on debit side and the first item is the interest on capital if the two partners will give to both a and b the interest will be calculated according to time salary to a partner whether a or b commission to a partner and if some part of the profit is to be transfer to reserve or reserve fund that is not to be distributed is also shown on the debit side and if partners have withdrawn drawings and it is agreed that interest on drawings is to be charged then it will come on the credit side of pnl appropriation account by interest on capital if the two partners both have withdrawn a and b now we have two items on the credit side that is net profit interest on drawings and four items on the debit side interest on capital salary commission transfer of profit to general reserve reserve fund and then the difference that means the credit side total minus the debit side total is known as the profit left which is to be divided in the profit sharing ratio and that profit will be transferred to the capital account or current account i will discuss what is the meaning of capital and current account but the remaining profit is to be divided in the profit sharing ratio between a and b <clears throat> so a recap profit and loss appropriation account it is prepared to show distribution of profit as per the terms of the partnership deed it is prepared based on the net profit brought down as per pnl account and another item which comes on the credit side is interest on drawings on the debit side we have interest on capital salary allowed to a partner commission allowed to a partner and general reserve reserve fund is known as the transfer of profit to any fund and the remaining profit is to be divided in the profit sharing ratio now little explanation of the term appropriation appropriation means distribution of profit among the partners as per the terms of partnership deed it is the amount payable to partners for interest on capital 
salary, commission, etc. However, remember that interest on loan, rent allowed to a partners for the use of the partner's premises are not appropriations. Both these are treated as expenses for the firm and are written in profit and loss account. Whenever we write anything in profit and loss account, known as charge on profit. So what we write in P&L account on debit side is known as charge on profit. And what we write in profit and loss appropriation account on debit side is known as appropriation. Net profit. Net profit means net profit which is brought in profit and loss appropriation account is the net profit calculated as per profit and loss account. After writing all expenses and losses including the following. Interest on loan, rent allowed to partner, provision for repairs and manager's commission. Now please remember. When we are solving the questions of profit and loss appropriation account, the net profit which we write in PL appropriation account is that net profit which is calculated as per profit and loss account. That means if profit is before interest on loan, rent allowed to partner, or before manager commission. These items should be subtracted from profit before that profit is written in appropriation account. These are the basic points we should remember before we start calculating the questions. Now you need to go through these slides two times so that the fundamental Rules are clear to you before jump onto the questions.